Well, I've seen it all now, folks. Um, I'm not sure how many of you have been following the use of fluvoxamine as a treatment for people with COVID. Fluvoxamine is an SSRI, so therefore traditionally used as an antidepressant, but a JAMA study published in November of last year, so a little over a year ago, suggested it had enormous efficacy in treating COVID. A more rigorous trial was published in JAMA last month. That study included about 1,500 subjects uh, evenly split and randomized to either a placebo or 100 milligrams of fluvoxamine twice a day for 10 days. On the per protocol treatment, meaning for the people who were able to complete the drug, um, the results were so overwhelming that the study was actually stopped prematurely. So it resulted in a 66% reduction in hospitalization and a 91% reduction in death. Um, there were no difference in adverse effects either between the arms in this study. So when you consider this study and when you consider the previous study, it seems pretty clear to me that fluvoxamine is kind of a no-brainer uh, when you're talking about uh, treating patients with COVID. So anyway, it's been our practice um, to prescribe fluvoxamine to any of our patients who contract COVID, which of course is, at this point, almost all of them. Uh, at some point or another, of course, everyone's going to get COVID. Uh, and this week, the most interesting thing happened. One of the physicians in our practice uh, called in a prescription to a CVS in California for a patient who had just contracted COVID. And the pharmacist said, no, we are not going to fill it. We will not fill fluvoxamine because you are prescribing it at the dose for which it's used to treat COVID. And this is not part of the official COVID guideline. The physician proceeded to explain to the pharmacist that in fact, it is something that has level one evidence to support, uh, but that didn't seem to matter. So we uh, fortunately were able to figure out another way to get that from a different pharmacy, but I couldn't believe it. Now that might not sound like a really big deal. You're like, ah, come on, what's the big deal? Go to another pharmacy, but that's a pretty big deal. When the pharmacist starts telling you that something's not part of a COVID guideline, and there's actually a pretty good study to suggest its use, I don't know, I have a problem with that. So anyway, this is kind of irksome to me, especially in light of the new variant, which um, as far as I can tell is nothing to really be concerned about because it doesn't seem to have any severity whatsoever. So it's a far more transmissible version of this virus that based on all available evidence to date, um, doesn't seem to result in any increase in morbidity or mortality. Um, but that means more and more people are going to be getting it. And when you consider that one of the mainstays of therapy Previously, which was the use of monoclonal antibodies, at least using the Regeneron variant of that, it doesn't seem to be very effective. So it does not appear that the existing monoclonal antibody, at least the one that is most commonly used, brings any efficacy. Now, there might be some efficacy with the AstraZeneca version, but that one doesn't seem to be uh, used as commonly, and it's not even clear how effective that's going to be. It also, of course, as you probably know, doesn't seem to be the case that vaccines, uh, the current version of vaccines, appear specifically targeted towards that variant, which again, probably doesn't matter given the low virulence of this virus. Anyway, all of this stuff has got me thinking it's time to do another podcast on COVID to kind of get straight some of the nonsense that's going on. I've really tried to stay out of COVID discussions. I find it to be some of the least interesting topics to get into. Um, I have very strong points of view on it. Um, and I think it's about time that I kind of do a podcast where I talk about this. So anyway, I'll probably be doing that in about a week. Look to have that out by about two weeks from now. So um, feel free to put your questions in here and um, I'll take a look at them and we'll get to doing a podcast on it.